Doctors estimate 10 to 15 percent of couples struggle with infertility. Last November, KOMU 8 News explored the issue by talking to several mid-Missouri couples about their experiences. Over the last year, I've continued to follow some of those couples. Now, in this 30-minute special, we want to show you more of their stories. And I'd like to thank them for being willing to open up their lives to us to share something so personal with the hope it will help others who are going through the same thing. Enjoy. A lot of crying here. Tears of sorrow, tears of joy. I mean, it, it's, it's a, an enormous roller coaster. You can imagine, every month you try and either you get pregnant or you don't. If you get pregnant, hoop and holler, you don't, it can be devastating. And once you get pregnant, that's just the beginning. Some people come in here, they're one-hit wonders, they get pregnant very quickly, they're out of here. Some people come here year after year after year. I'm feeling a little bit anxious right now. There's a lot riding on this, so I'm excited, but I have to wait for two weeks before I know anything. Physically, I'm feeling a little bit crampy. It's not a very comfortable feeling, but that'll pass. It haunts me that it's not going to work, and I want it to so bad that I'm afraid I'm setting myself up for heartache. End of the line is usually in vitro fertilization, where we don't rely on the tubes. Uh, we don't rely on high numbers of sperm. In fact, we can inject an individual sperm into an individual egg. I would say about 25,000. Since we started, yeah. Since we started, 25 to 30. And that's is that including what you're going to spend on the in vitro? Or no, before? that's before. That's just the medications, the surgeries. I don't get paid a whole lot, sir. Don't get paid a whole lot. We just, we just, you know, did it as as we could. Um, yeah, I mean, we're we're in debt, but yeah, I mean, we're we did it. So I mean, so far so good, and we should be able to do the IVF. So. Um, I'm excited. I think it's going to work. Have a great day, Sarah. Okay. Take a nice nap. Okay. There's so many eggs to obtain. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. An ovary with multiple follicles. Each one of those black circles should yield an egg. And you can see them all in there. Multiple, multiple eggs, multiple follicles. One of us, one of us will just be ready to give up and, and move on and start the grieving process and then the other one will have to become the cheerleader and say we have th we have three more tries we'll give it we don't know anything until we do those things and then it'll switch i would want them to know that first of all they're walking into a very safe environment um, that they're not alone that there's probably very little they could say that we haven't heard before surprisingly talking about it really does help i know it's really difficult to talk about it but when you get the love from people, it really does help. Really just not feeling like I was so alone. I have um, watched Brad be an uncle, and he's an awesome uncle. He, uh, he's he's um, firm when he needs to be, and he's kind when he needs to be. He can teach him how to throw a ball and tie a tie. I have my ups and downs. Some days are not very fun to be around, and I might kind of have harder days, but um, mostly I, I think that he does a good job of knowing when he needs to encourage me to reconnect with family or friends and when I kind of just need some space. Um, I, I feel like we've done a pretty good job under the circumstances of relying on each other, but definitely some days are better than other days. I, it wasn't, it still doesn't feel real, like it doesn't, I don't know, it's still, I guess like in shock that we actually have a baby now, finally after all this time, like, like he's mine, <laughs> you have to keep him.